Woohoo! We're starting off this new episode with a fresh build. That's right. It's going to be the baddest fucking Lincoln that's ever come out of here. So let's get like a bunch of people. Let's team interior guys, exterior guys, motor training guys. So it's finally time. I got all the guys together. I got a good group of people. We're all going to sign in, clock in right now. And the first thing we'll do is take the hood off, start draining all the fluids in the motor, get the motor and tranny out. We're going to take all the interior out door panels and we'll start taking all the chrome off the outside bumpers grill trim door handles uh, vinyl top and then all the windows as well so uh, hopefully by the end of the today we'll have a completely stripped car and, and, a, and a happy customer so one of the things we do to try to keep organized is we get these little bins from like Home Depot uh, we mark and label everything so when we pull a door apart we put every screw in this panel or in this box here that way when we go to put this thing back together, we know exactly what screws came out of it, where it's from, etc. So I like to label everything, make sure everything's fucking 100% on point. I hate looking for stuff if we took it apart, you know, six months ago and then trying to put it back together and nobody knows where anything's at. So this is how we stay organized. trigger on here look at one is forward one is reverse you want to go backwards one reverse okay Good job Do you think that was a fire waiting to happen? So, what an epic day. All of us jumped on this car, got ripped apart, completely disassembled, well, almost. Tomorrow we'll finish it. Then it's time for blast. I'm stoked because I got a good team. We all worked really well together, and my son was here to enjoy it with us. It's the first time he's actually got his hands on in a car. So, man, that, that's near and dear to my heart. Well, we got the whole car apart. It turned out amazing. Now we are going to strip the car via uh, dustless blasting. Uh, it's a guy I've been using for a long time and he seems not to warp any panels. So all the panels came out great. We have a few little areas, but nothing major. Now we can start building this car. Oh, I'm excited. This is one of my favorite mods done to Lincoln's. Uh, so today I brought my homie seven in. The homie seven. He's from Italy. How rad is that? He's a badass metal shaper. Uh, I'm going to let him explain to you what he's going to do to the bumpers. All right, so after the first look I did at the, at the car and the rendering, I can tell you the car is going to be beaching, so I got to do my best to give to both bumper a look beaching, like we say. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the bumper off, cut it up, try to shave it, suck in, and give a look like a new car, like the bumper are, are uh, flush with the body. I'm going to tighten up the gap very close to make a one piece solid with the car. You know, Lincoln, they got those bumper, big bumper. They come out from the shape of the car and not really look good. <laughs> right? <laughs> so what he said is, you're going to make the car look badass. Yeah. So what we're talking about with the bumpers is, uh, on the factory car, there's a big gap in the back and on the top, and, and the bumpers fit good but not great. So what we're actually gonna do is cut them all up and move them in tight, up, and, and sunk them in, and then make sure the line is vertical with the bumper and the, and the marker light. So it seems like an easy task, but you have to cut them in about 20 different pieces, weld them back up, smooth them all out, and then get it ready to be finished. You know, So uh, we want it nice and tight. That's all we're saying.
he did such an awesome job on the front bumper. Uh, we decided to do the rear bumper as well, of course, to match the front. But you can tell all the molding and everything he's sunk in and tightened up and made everything fit uniform and, and uh, everything's perfect, you know? So got all that put together and uh, uh, put some exhaust holes in it. So now it's ready to get all straightened out and then uh, ready for powder coat. So one of the other mods that we decided to do on the car is change the door handles. Uh, it's kind of a plus and minus deal when you come to Lincoln's because uh, the truest Lincoln people, uh, those door handles are what make this car. So keeping that in mind, uh, the customer decided that we're gonna get an aftermarket door handle but make it look somewhat similar to the Lincoln door handles, but yet different. We uh, ordered a set of the Ken Diggett handles uh, and uh, my boy Peter here put them in. They're pretty sick because they still have the look of the Lincoln handles and this is how they work. Kind of similar to what you see on the new cars, Teslas and what have you but uh, it's their own design, it's patent pending, it's a pretty awesome product. At some point today, we can put the hood back on and make the hood work. Huh? At some point today, once you get that dialed, we can put the hood back on and make the hood work. Okay. Because we, we, we put regular hinges in it. Okay. So it's technically suicided, right? Yeah, <laughs> did, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's of course. So this car is like one of those cars that like, it's going to be probably one of the baddest Lincolns we've ever built, for one. But two, uh, everything we're doing, it's pretty much pissing off everybody that's a Lincoln purist. I mean, like everything. We're putting a Chevy motor with twin turbos on it at 1,200 horsepower. We've uh, took the door handles off and put the Ken Diggett ones on, which still looks like a Lincoln emblem, but it's, or a Lincoln door handle, but it's not. We literally took and made hood hinges so the hood opens up backwards. Because if you know anything about Lincolns, they opened backwards already. So we opened it normal, but technically it's suicide if it came from the factory this way, right? <laughs> I love it. Well, this week we gave you just a small little bit of what's going on in this car. There's a ton more stuff for me to show you. So I hope you're excited. Please comment down below. Give us some feedback. I want to know if you guys are interested in this or that or whatever. We're trying to make the best content we can. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you. I'll see you next week at five o'clock on Friday for another new episode of Devious Por Vida. <laughs>